Already? We are over at the we over at the So I'm with artist Mark Fox. You did all this work. So what inspires you to do this kind of painting? Um, I guess uh, just by like emotional growing up uh, bipolar. So I have a lot of um, emotions. Just uh, it's like my way of verbalizing myself, expressing myself, and cope with life. Do these paintings each have kind of a common theme? Um, a lot have to do with like my um, my mom's side of the family, her heritage, Melungeon heritage, like uh, back east in Appalachia. So it has a lot of folkish inspiration, like folk people and you know mountain people playing guitars. And stuff. Okay, Appalachian folk yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. Folk and just walking. early bluegrass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. The visual, so and just, um, mountain people. And so a lot of this looks like uh, kind of like tribal type. Art. Yeah, I get that a lot. Like a lot of people think, you know, like uh, South American style, like, like, uh, like. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, just, I love symbolism in my work and, and uh, just the uh, rawness. So, oh, no, I guess it does. For me, it kind of symbolizes peace. Yeah, this one especially because Giver of Hearts. So uh -huh. that's the title. So um, yeah, just all I have about him, just expressing himself. Like, like always giving to people and being like, you know, like sacrificing his own, right? you know, just being like, selfless. Yeah, selfless. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> so then that also reminds me of kind of the early art. The, the, the further back you go, you know, the, the more you see art that kind of looks like this, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, just like, uh, um, like, like the little small home represents my family. I have family of 14. Mm -hmm. And just the simple, simpleness of the, the, the way that people live, like in the hills and stuff. And my great grandma was a famous moonshiner. Uh -huh. And she has a little, uh, uh, I guess, museum. Her log cabin was pulled off the, the mountain in the Appalachian Hills of Steedville, Tennessee. And they, they preserved it to represent the, the times of the days when they were uh, doing moonshine. And mm -hmm. She was notorious for it. So. And so I just brought a lot of like these like, paintings actually communicate a lot of things, huh? Yeah, there's to me it's personal stuff. It's like a deep story. It's not just one explanation of what's going on. There's a lot yeah. a lot going on in yeah. the picture. Yeah. Looks like, I mean, a person is playing an instrument. It's kind of like a guitar, right? Yeah. I just love the simpleness, and yeah. the rawness, and just like just living life, you know? Right, so. having fun, enjoying yeah. art and life. <laughs> Yeah, what could be better? Yeah. So then how long have you been doing painting? Um, I've been painting probably seriously like uh, since 2002, so probably less. Oh wow, okay. How many paintings do you think you've done? Hundreds or thousands? <laughs> um, uh, near a thousand. I've sold over 500 pieces. That's uh, excellent. The internet and stuff too. And you're based in Sacramento? Yeah, I grew up in El Grove. All of these work in Sacramento. Um, and also what kind of paint do you use? Acrylics. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, spray paint. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. <laughs>